snipers, you have to see what's happening in the Bitcoin price right now as our monthly candle closes in less than five hours. So we could expect a ton of volatility in the next 24 hours. I had to get this video update out to you guys as Bitcoin just broke below 46,000 US dollars as I'm recording this video. It might change by the time you're watching this video, but what I'm gonna talk about isn't gonna change. And that's the fact that every puzzle piece outside of the current price action in the small time frames are still very bullish for Bitcoin. On-chain analytics showing over $800 million of Bitcoin leaving exchanges and more fuel like USDT coming onto exchanges. Yesterday, we had a billion dollars of Ethereum leave exchanges. So in the immediate short term, on-chain analytics are solid. Now, what about the monthly candle? So it went from a very bullish monthly candle to now like an indecision candle about to close in five hours. What do we want to see with this monthly candle? Here's what I want to see, and we'll move straight into the smaller time frames. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm snipers if you support these on the go updates. With this monthly candle, I would like to see a close above 44,800, which we currently have. Because if that's the case, just notice how if we were to just factor in the body and the wick below it, it could still be considered bullish symmetry. I'm not so worried about the monthly candle because the weekly candles are so strong. We had this very bullish reversal candle, a bullish continuation candle last week, and we're still above the 20 week moving average. Guess what, by the way, the 20 week moving average just came below 45,000 US dollars. So the most important thing right now on the weekly chart is we stay above the 20 week moving average, which we are. And so if we start going into even smaller time frames, and by the way, What's going to happen on the monthly chart will first happen on the weekly chart, which will first happen on the daily chart, which will first happen on the six hour chart. And it goes from the smaller time frames and morphs into the larger time frames. So that's why it's important to watch what's happening on the daily time frame. What is there to be worried about? We tested the 200 day moving average. If this was truly an important level, which of course it is, it's a very important daily moving average, then normal market behavior would at least have a pit stop to eat time off the clock at that level before seeing continuation. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. We haven't even tested the major support of 45,000. I'm expecting us to test it and hold it. If we even get to test, if we don't test it, it could even be more bullish. But why is it important that we test 45,000? Well, if we're saying it's such an important support level, well, guess what? We've never even tested it once so far as a support. We only tested it four times as a resistance. And so coming to 45,000 is totally fine. And at this point, the range that Bitcoin is playing in has a resistance of 49,700, a support of 44,800. If at any point we get above 49,700, expect some momentum, as you guys know. Now, how are the revolving parts looking? Well, let's talk about Ethereum. Very similar to Bitcoin, also testing its 200-day moving average. And so far, the charts are telling us it's a significant level. It's totally normal to happen. But notice this, it's holding above its weekly open as we speak, unlike Bitcoin, below the weekly open. Is that bearish or bullish? It's actually extremely bullish because look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. To us, this gauges market sentiment, it tells us how confident institutions are in the cryptocurrency market. Because if they're willing to get into Ethereum, then that shows a lot of confidence and then it eventually will leak into other altcoins and then that's when the total market cap continues to increase. Bitcoin dominance drops. Ethereum to Bitcoin goes up. All coins outside of Ethereum go up. And so we want this to break out. But guess what? On the six hour chart, we did see institutional sell pressure on our last six hour candle. So I do want to bring this up. It looks like based on the theory to Bitcoin chart, if this was the only puzzle piece we were to factor in right now, that we did find a local top to at least move sideways in the immediate short term over the next few days and weeks. And I say that because this type of institutional sell pressure on the Ethereum Bitcoin chart does certainly justify that it at least comes down to test its previous weekly open just below 70,000 Satoshis at this point. And so I don't think we're going to see the Ethereum Bitcoin chart just now immediately break above 72,000 Satoshis and just all out go into a bullish trend. So this indicates sign of a slowdown. Now, why I'm so confident that it's just temporary is because guess what followed the gold to Bitcoin chart just like we predicted. Bitcoin dominance just moved below the 200 day moving average today. This is exactly what we were predicting and expecting 
And it's exactly what we want to assume further price action to the upside for Bitcoin. So right now, Bitcoin dominance is giving us a very solid macro puzzle piece. The DXY, which is crazy because we predicted this exact price action after breaking above this resistance, we were expecting us to test 99.132 and then calm down. It's exactly what's happening. Guess what? We just tested the major support. Let's monitor this because if we break below this support, that's another strong confirmation that the DXY has found resistance and potentially could have formed a lower high, which is what we've been monitoring. And by the way, the Euro USD chart, which is inversely correlated, formed new highs today, which is very good to see because that assumes that this could have potentially bottomed out as well. And since this is inversely correlated with the DXY, if this goes up, DXY comes down, DXY comes down, the strength of the US dollar comes down, asset prices get to continue their pathway towards price discovery. And so that's why that's important. So very clear right now, a couple things. Number one, it's the fact that Bitcoin dominance is giving us a strong sign that there's confidence coming back to the cryptocurrency market as we speak despite Bitcoin seeing a little bit of downside. Number two is Bitcoin's monthly candles closing, and we're still above 44,800, which is all we were asking for from the start. And so that's extremely bullish. Ethereum to Bitcoin chart is indicating that we may slow down based on the institutional sell pressure that we saw today at the major resistance. That's totally fine. So if we move sideways, we know the range is 49,700 and 44,800, and then we can play our cards from there. So. I'm not concerned whatsoever right now. There's certainly no confirmation that Bitcoin has found its final destination here. It looks like we're just eating time off the clock to see a continuation move to the upside. So it's totally garden variety market behavior, which means it's normal for us to see what's happening right now on the charts. It's actually expected to happen. It's what should happen. It's what makes trading a predictable source of income. And that's the fact that it's signifying it's an important resistance level. Maybe some people took shorts there. Totally cool. Take advantage of the short-term volatility, right? We're not going to be shorting Bitcoin right now with all the fundamentals clearly on the bullish end. All coins starting to turn very bullish on the fundamental side with Ethereum's merge coming soon. So much is happening. In my opinion, what we're seeing right now isn't something to fret about. Take a deep breath and just be patient. That's what we have to wait for. The move for Bitcoin above 50,000 is going to bring in a lot of volume. We're already about to see that move. It's totally fine for a couple of days of sideways price action, a couple of weeks of sideways price action to come on the table. I'm still very confident that we're going to hit our target of 58,353 with this breakout above 45,000. If we cross below 45,000 US dollars, I'll get an emergency update out because then we can talk about downside scenarios. But right now we can't. Everything is bullish. If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, eight out of 10 times, it's a duck. Don't deny the fact that things are looking bullish in the market despite the price action that we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything looks normal. It's exactly how things should move. And so with that, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below, Snipers. I appreciate each and every one of you tuned into the channel. I couldn't do this without you. Smash like button for the YouTube algorithm if you support this content. I believe that is all I wanted to go over today. There isn't much happening in the revolving parts. I will mention that S&P 500 has shown enough strength getting above all of its daily moving averages that it could also see a little bit of more sideways momentum before seeing continuation of the upside. And so there truly isn't any concerns right now in the revolving parts, on the on-chain side, the fundamental side, and even the charts that we're seeing. So thank you all for tuning into the Cypress channel today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll get a video out immediately if we break 49,700 or if we break 45,000. But until then, Let's take a deep breath and realize that what we're seeing right now is exactly how things should be. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Snipers, out.